I'm giving you another fraction with more thirds in it. That's okay. How would we rationalize this denominator? Now, so far, if you saw something like this, you'd say there's a root 5. The root 5 is the problem. So I'm just going to multiply by root 5 over root 5, and it all just comes out in the wash. And you've been doing that successfully for the last little bit. But you run into a problem, and that's why I've called this a more challenging denominator, if you try it here. Because if you say root 2 is the problem, and you just multiply by root 2 over root 2, what happens? Tell me what's right. The numerator? Root 2. It's just 1 times root 2, which is root 2. Over 2. And then on the denominator, well, these guys work. They become 2. But this also gets multiplied by the 5. Do you notice that? So then you're like, wait a second. By getting rid of this guy, see, that's better, I've created this. That's even worse than it was before, right? Like, I have drastically made this a worse problem than when I started. So this is no good. It's not enough. So I'm going to show you, now you can pick up your pens, I'm going to show you what will rationalize this denominator. And this is a super useful skill. It's a bit harder than what you're being expected to do now, but I think you guys can manage it if you stay with me. I'm still going to multiply by something over something, okay? But I'm going to choose an unusual something. I'm not going to explain why I chose it just yet. I'm going to wait until the end. I wonder if you can work it out with me. Watch. Instead of multiplying root 2 on root 2, I'm going to multiply by this. Now, I know that looks like a bit of a mouthful. That's okay. Stay with me. One step at a time. Humor me, what does the numerator become? It's just one of these, right? So one of these is just 5 minus root 2. Is that okay? Yep. Right, so far so good. Now, when I write the denominator, I'm going to write it in long form first. It looks like this. Now, I know that looks, that looks awful, doesn't it? Okay, but actually... If you look carefully at it, watch what happens when I actually just expense. Just watch. Okay. Um, actually, not just watch. Do write it with me, but see, notice, the numerator is just going to stay put. If I start to expand this denominator, help me out. 5 times 5. 5 times minus root 2. Minus 5 root 2. Okay, that's the first pair. Now I'm going to do this guy times that. What's that one? Plus 5 root 2. And then this one? Minus 2. Did we get it all right? Four terms. Does it all look good? I'm pretty happy with it. Now do you notice what's happened right here in the middle? See that? Those two guys are just going to cancel out. Like so, is that okay? They've just exactly annihilated each other. And I can just say, hey, 25 and 2 are both rational. And I'm done. Okay. So this is kind of neat. Uh, we start off with something that looks very strange, like how, how are we going to deal with this? But if you multiply by the right number, then it does indeed rationalize. Now the real question is, how did I know what number to multiply by? Can you see how I chose it not randomly, I chose it very specifically. Look at this number down the bottom, or rather this pair of numbers. Now look at these guys. Can you see how similar they are? The numbers are the same. What's changed? It's just that sign in the middle, right? So this is really important. Um, in your working, I'd love you to have these as well if you have another color or something like that. These two things here, 5 plus root 2, and 5 minus root 2, we call these guys conjugates. Conjugates is a word which just means they pair up, they go together, they match in some useful way. And the useful way that they match up with is like this. Do you see that when you expand this, these middle terms, they have to cancel out every time. You can make up any conjugates you like and it'll happen. Let's just make one up here. Um, 4 plus root 3, what would the conjugate of this guy be? 4 minus root 3. Now watch, let's just do the expansion, right? You're going to get 16 minus 4 root 3 
plus 4 root 3, uh, watch out for the signs, minus 3. Do you agree? And just like before, look, this happens. Every time it happens. Okay. So if you choose conjugates, then if everything comes out in the wash, you don't get any certs, which is nice. And by the way, just have a look at... I need another colour. Just have a look at this denominator over here. 25 and 2. We're back at the original fraction, the very first one I wrote on the board. 25 and 2. What's their connection to these two numbers? It's just the squares, right? You see, that is really 5 squared from here. And this is root 2 squared. Does that make sense? Okay. So, in fact, if I saw something with something like this, I don't even need to do all of this expansion. I know it's going to do the same thing every single time. So, let me show you what it would look like if I just skipped all of that unnecessary working. If I said to you, hey, can you rationalize that? Can you rationalize that? Okay, actually, I will change it around a little bit. Sorry. Like that. Okay? What is the conjugate conjugate of that guy over there? Okay, all I do is throw the same numbers with a plus sign. Okay? The same numbers with a plus sign. Is that okay? If I do the top, I'm going to do the bottom. Sorry. Now, notice, remember, just like before, all the third bits are eventually just going to disappear. They're going to cancel with each other. Okay, so on the top, I'll just leave that guy there. Do you remember how I got these two numbers? It's just the squares. Do you see that? It's just the squares. So what's the square of this? It's just 5. What's the square of this? Squares? Squares? In this case, coincidentally, 5 minus 4 is just 1. So therefore, 3 on that. And if you like, if you're a bit suspicious, you can go to your calculator and you can punch in this. It'll give you a decimal of some kind, right? I don't know what it is. And then go ahead and punch in this. This was the original question. 3 on root 5 minus 2. Go ahead. Actually, I'd love you to do it right now. You've got a friend next to you, I hope, who's got a calculator. One of you put in this and one of you put in that. If I've done my numbers right, you should find they are exactly the same. Does it check out? <laughs> Work out who's doing which. Don't both do the same one. Wow, crazy. It's the same number, but without this weird gross rational denominator. I can simplify it. Okay. So it's very handy.